Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Frankie Slauson here for another great video, YouTube video. And I noticed that I've actually uh, got oh, about oh, 60 videos already on YouTube, which is kind of pretty amazing, I, I'd say. And uh, <clears throat> almost, well, we're less, we're less than 40 away from, after I post these next few videos, we're less than 40 away from uh, uh, 100. And maybe when I get close to the 100 spot, which probably won't be for a while, but uh, may do something special for that because that's that's kind of a kind of a huge milestone, if if I would say. Uh, anyway, uh, the purpose of today's video, or the uh, the series of videos, is that if you remember this past Saturday, I posted a video asking for, you know, because I was thinking about doing my own Q and A question and answer. Uh, video <coughs> section and I try I don't want to make this last three parts if possible but we'll see what happens uh, I didn't get that many questions as I thought I was going to get I got I got about 13 questions uh, only from three different subscribers and, and those people are home video presents wet movie one and 1985 dude and now I'm kind of disappointed in, in you YouTube people because I figure in some of the subscribers that I have or even the uh, friends that I have, I figure you guys would actually, when it comes to Q&A stuff, that you would actually, would love to ask, you know, people, you know, people like myself or whatnot, questions, because I noticed that when Cool Duder or, you know, and nothing against Sean Phillips or MJ Kelly, because they're friends of mine as well, and I've chatted with them, they're cool in my book, no matter what, but it's like, they got more subscribers, it's like, every time they post a video or whatnot, they all, no matter what the video's about, They'll get hundreds uh, upon a hundred different views, or thousands of views, I should say, and hundreds and hundreds of comments. For me, you know, the Lone Ranger, the outsider of the YouTube community, only gets a few. But that's okay. I mean, you gotta start somewhere, and trust me, I can be bitter about other things. So, <laughs> and I don't want to be bitter. Not not today. Not in this video. But. Any, you know, I, I figure instead of uh, asking any more to, you know, to ask any more or people to take questions or, or whatever, because maybe I'm not that interesting as a person, or maybe my videos haven't really gotten the most interesting mark yet, maybe I got to do more work. Well, that's fine. You know, it gives me more chance to be motivated. Because trust me, as 2009 gets here, we will, we definitely... I, I can guarantee that you will definitely see a change in my channel and maybe you know before the year's over that I might be the next talk of the town or might be the next cool dude who knows but uh, just a goal to goal to achieve uh, anyway I am going to ask uh, answer some of the questions that I got uh, come to three subscribers I'm going to go in somewhat order here to the latest questions that were asked and uh, here we go. Uh, and these next first three questions are from a Home Video Presents, YouTube user Home Video Presents. And the first question that they ask is, or I, I think he's a, I think he's a guy. I think uh, the first question he asks is, what is the most embarrassing thing that happened, or that has happened to you? Most embarrassing thing that has happened to me. Uh, well, there's been a lot, a lot of embarrassing things. I can definitely say but as far as recent things because I can I can tell you stories of embarrassing things that have happened to me but I, I'll just stick with recent stuff uh, I uh, well may you know that I got fired from the casino for quote unquote taking tokens or whatever from the arcade and I thought how embarrassing was that that you know you got some of these freaking people some of these Native Americans and nothing against Native Americans you know nothing against anybody but you got some of these people that are, you know, are lazy, out of shape, you know, smell bad, uh, just, you know, don't care about themselves or their jobs or anything like that. And I'm being honest here. Uh, they get away with not showing up for work, uh, you know, uh, using their paychecks and using for booze or whatever. And yet, I play a game for, for free or whatever or take some tokens to play but most of the time people use the key you know the arcade key that they had including supervisors and everything and they can go ahead and play for free but I use some tokens and all of a sudden I'm the bad guy 
So as far as embarrassing moment, that probably would be my most for recent. I mean, there's other things I could get into, but the video would definitely be too long for that. The second question that he asked, five favorite video games. Well, I, I have a PlayStation 2 myself. I don't have a, a PSV or an Xbox 360 or a Wii. I would love to get all the systems, especially with the new HD upgrade and all that. I think that looks awesome on games like that. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty old school. Uh, but I'm pretty much a fan of the SmackDown vs. Raw series as far as, uh, oh, as far as, you know, different, uh, uh, different games or whatnot, you know, because to me, now that we've come up with SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, uh, pretty much grabs 10, the first 10 years if, or, or so of, uh, video games and, and each SmackDown vs. Raw game, well, recently, yeah, originally the the SmackDown series, you know, started on the PlayStation One console, and then eventually, after the third one was installed, uh, we just bring it. I think it was yeah, just bring it because it was SmackDown, SmackDown Two, Know Your Role, SmackDown Three, Just Bring It, SmackDown Four, Shut Your Mouth, SmackDown Five, Here Comes the Pain, and then the other one was then SmackDown. It started SmackDown was Raw, SmackDown vs. Raw. 2006, and SmackDown was around 2007, 2008, 2009, yeah. Anyway, so as far as I can say, the, the SmackDown vs. Raw series is because they're, they're cool games, and I'm a big wrestling fan, as you can tell, you know, you know, the big, you know, Raw series. I just got this for Christmas, thanks to my good friend, uh, that I won't mention, but good friend. Uh, so yeah, uh, as far as, you know, five, I don't, it's hard, hard to pick, you know. I mean, I'm old school. I like the Nintendo systems. I like, you know, the uh, Super Mario Brothers games. I like the NBA Jam games. I like the Terminator games. Uh, you know, Back to the Future, you know. I like watching the you know, Angry Video Game Nerd and uh, watch his stuff on, on the uh, on old classic games. Uh, used to watch the Iron Gamer right here. Sometimes I still watch him, too. But I've heard that he's a lot, and I've even noticed this, he's more of a copycat of uh, the Angry Video Gamer. That's the subject for another time, but, you know, I still say James, the Nintendo nerd, does a lot better job as far as with original stuff and, and uh, actually put a lot of effort into the work that he does as far as, you know, for video games. But anyway, so as far as video games go, yeah, just pretty much anything old school and the SmackDown's Raw series. All right, the last question I asked uh, from Home Video Presents, YouTube, video, uh, YouTube user Home Video Presents, he asked, what is the craziest thing you've ever done? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Craziest thing ever. Let's see how much time we have first here before I go on that. Oh, we got a couple minutes anyway before the first part comes in. in. Oh, do you hear what I hear? Sorry about that. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh... Craziest thing I've ever done. Uh, well, besides that, uh, uh, there's been a, a few things, I guess, you know. I did ask this one chick or whatever a couple years back when I found out that one of my friends uh, got married. You know, we were only going out for maybe a month or two, and I got the courage to, to ask her to marry me, which kind of freaked her out, I guess, you know. And I guess I should, wasn't supposed to ask that right away. Uh, but, uh, course she denied me because he was, he was she was in fear and I was like I didn't know what I was thinking I just went with it I guess but uh, uh, other embarrassing moments uh, or the craziest thing I've ever done uh, well <laughs> I don't know if this is something I should say on the computer but or on the internet but uh, I did have this one fight with this one guy uh, back eight years ago uh, well, be about eight years ago in January my name, uh, well, I won't call it too name is, but uh, where we fought for about four months and it got to a point where uh, it was getting pretty brutal to the fact that his own family were so afraid of me that they don't want me to have no contact with, with, with him or at all for a year. So you know what they did? They sent me to court and they put a one-year restraint order against me. Man, I wish you people would have known me back in the day when I, during my attitude time. 
because I was more like a rebel and all that stuff, you know. When I use the word the outsider, I, I, I mean it. I was an outsider. And uh, still to this day, I still believe that. Uh, it always will be. But anyway, this ends part one of the Q&A. Hopefully that will answer your questions or home video presents. When we come back, we answer Brennan Mitchell's questions from Wet Movie 1.